Hello everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough, and we get into an immediate battle. How oh, nice. And it's against probably the least threatening Digimon who I'm going to encounter within the circuit boards. This is a very defensive sort of Digimon. He has pretty good defense, and he often does double guards, which makes his defense even better. And his physical attack is pretty damn lousy. So, yeah, this works for me. He doesn't have the high attack power that the Dromolgemons have. And he doesn't carry the risk of confusing me like that annoying Digimon has. And then there's Raremon, who I f think can possibly paralyze. I don't know. So, in the previous part, you saw me win against the Black Argumon, who has now vanished. And, um, yeah, it was... Um, he, he gave me a run for my money. I mean, he was probably the toughest opponent I've faced so far. But I did manage to win, and he's told me that he doesn't have Etamon's mic. A different Black Argumon does, and that has now... Oh, this guy... I go first, and that's now triggered the other black argument, and so my next objective now is to um, try and locate the other black argument. Because um, this circuit board that I'm in, I entered from the Asuka South Sector Jungle Grave, and I'm now pretty much just trying to make my way back out the way I came. And the um, circuit board that I will need in order to locate the Black Ogumon is um, at the Central Park um, in the Central Sector in the Amaterasu server. So, from the Jungle Grave South Sector, I need to go to the Central Park Central Sector, and I need to change servers as well. Uh, but again, I have put some study into this, and I think there is quite an easy way of going about it. And as long as I remember correctly, um, I think I should do an okay job at go into where I need to go to and locate in the Black Argumon. I think I should do an okay job just as long as I remember things correctly because I have put some study into it and my first requirement is to, after I leave this tunnel, um, I then need to head back to the other circuit board within the jungle grave, the one that I used in order to get to the... the circuit board that I used in order to arrive here at the jungle grave, you know, the one that was connected to the kicking forest, um, I need to basically go back the way I came, so I need to return to the circuit board that I arrived here with. And as long as I am remembering correctly and I get my roots right, I believe that from here I can go to the Amatera Zoo Central Park. And when I do, I will be right next to the circuit board that I need in order to locate the other Black Ogumon. So going by my memory, I think I need to go this way as if I'm heading back towards the Amatera Zoo Kicking Forest.
Yeah, this guy is not so tough when you um, use against him the tactics that he always uses against you. Give him a taste of his own medicine and he's never the same. Okay, so I think it's south, as if I'm going back to the Kicking Forest. So I'm here, and the path to the south, I believe, goes to the Amatra Zoo Kicking Forest, taking me straight back to where I was. And I think that if I go north up here, it takes me to an area where there's a Kumamon, and he advises that going south leads to both servers kicking forest. But if I remember rightly, there's also a path going up to the north, and I think um, that, that goes straight to the Amatera Zoo Central Park. If I'm wrong, and it doesn't, then it's not the end of the world, because I can just go back to the Amatera Zoo Kikin Forest, and from there I can um, just make my way to the Central Park either on foot or via the seabird. No need, I have remembered correctly. Yeah, the circuit board I need is the one that's nearest to the gym, nearest to the plug cape. It's just up here. Though, before I go exploring, I might want to check my MP. Yeah, well, it's not even half empty yet, so... I think I'll be okay. Right, so the other Black Albumon is within this circuit board, but I think he's um, a bit deeper into it than the other one was. We arrive here, we've got two paths. I think this one is the one we have to take. I think the other one goes to a dead end. So we make it here. Um, and there's an Ogumon here. And I think the path south either goes to a dead end or just doesn't or just doesn't go somewhere useful and then the path up here to the north I think doesn't go straight to the black Ogumon, but I think it does go to like another area and is a step closer to the black Ogumon. so I think the way I'm going is the correct way for the black Ogumon, or be it that it's not literally like the next immediate area, but I think it is the right direction. Okay, well, there's a Munmon who's that means I'm making progress. And I don't think I need to. I want to go north. I think north goes to a dead end. A dead end which doesn't contain a black Ogumon. And going down this way leads to an alternative area where there's. Um, okay, yeah, an alternative area where there's two potential paths. One south, which I don't think is the one I want, and this one north, which I think does lead to the Black Ogumon. Although, maybe not immediately. There's, I'm pretty confident that this leads to a dead end, a dead end containing the Black Ogumon.
Well, I'm right about it being a dead end. And I'm right about there being a black ugly one here. And this is the one with the mic. It's a white folder, but I don't think I need to combat it with a white folder. I think my brown would be adequate. Now, I'm not hugely pleased to see that I've got just one program card. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll settle with that. Oh dear, am I going to see a series of summon Armjamons by any chance? Maybe not. <laughs> Well, I'm okay with summon pattern ones, because the worst he could bring out is four. And I can trash two of them. Well, I don't trash them. I send them back to his hand. Uh, I think I can afford for that to happen. I think I can afford for that to happen as well. Looking pretty good this time. And gets even better. Okay, well, got to have Digimon cards as well, I suppose. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> An Arngemon and the potential of six others. Well, this is going to be fun. Now, let's make sure we trash that summon Arngemon to reduce the effect that the combo is going to have. And same again. Well, now he's only going to be dealing... Now he can only have three Arngemons which makes the combo less of an issue, but then he does have the ability to boost his um, HP by 30. Now, if I use the Vicious Hacken to do away with his other summon, Armjorn, So he's only got one card with no hope of a combo. And I think I still have Vicious Hackens. Well, one. So, might as well just trash his Arngemon and then it's bye-bye Digimon cards. And all the opponent has is two program cards which can't be used. Okay. So, I believe it's impossible for me to lose. So I win again, I get myself another booster pack, but more importantly, I get Etamon's mic. So I can now go back to the Jewel Island and continue. I can battle the Etamon who wouldn't battle me, and then move on to the next Etamon who's actually a metal Etamon, and then move on to the next Etamon who is also the final Etamon, and is, in fact, King Etamon. 
And before that, I have to try and remember the way back. But I think I came from the northern path over here. And I think um, up here there was a Munmon, and I came from the tunnel just south of the Munmon. Yes, I'm remembering that correctly. Well... I'd much rather be against a Dromolden one who gets the first hit than be against that cursed confusion Digimon and have myself confused and then get defeated and then have all my progress thrown down the gutter. In the off chance of that happening, though, um, I'm thinking about doing something which isn't exactly MP efficient, but would be playing things on the right side of safety, and that is to heal. Because I think I have the MP to throw away. And it's just making things that little bit more secure, should I get caught off guard. Caught off guard at the wrong sort of time against the wrong sort of opponent. Okay, and I think I came from up here. And I think this might... No, 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 it doesn't lead to the exit. But it leads to this area and the northern path does lead to the exit, because I remember this area now. So that brings me to the exit, which will bring me to the Amaterasu Central Park. And from here, I can make my way on foot back to the Jewel Island, because I'm in the right server, um, and I'm virtually in the right sector, because the east sector is just down here, and then the Jewel Island will be very nearby. So, having won at the Jewel Island in the Asuka server, um, obviously I have the crown for that, and I was able to Digimon battle those five tamers. And um, once I obtain the um, trophy for the Jewel Island in this server, um, I then... Um, it, that then triggers... Um, card battles, well it doesn't physically trigger the card battles, but within the circuit boards it triggers um, five black Ogumons and five Numemons in the circuit boards who will card battle you when you approach them, and each of them possess one legendary card which they use against you when card battling. And if you beat them, then they then give you the legendary card, which scores you 10 of the 15 legendary cards. And once I obtain the crown, that's then, well, the trophy, whatever, that's then going to be my next priority to find out which circuit boards I need to explore 
then explore them in the search of the Black Ogimons and the Numamons, card battle them, beat them, obtain their legendary cards, and bag myself 10 legendary cards. Having the crown for this server does also trigger the possibility to card battle those five tamers who I recently Digimon battled, who possess the five other legendary cards, and the system works exactly the same way in that beating them scores you the legendary cards and boom, you can get 15 legendary cards, but I can say with 100% confidence that that is not going to happen because as well as needing the trophy for the Jewel Island within this server, the amount of charisma that you need is in excess of 2,000 and um, being a Coatmon solo, the absolute highest amount of charisma that I can theoretically, scientifically get is 999, but since I'm not allowed to use weapons, armors, accessories, or items, um, I'm not going to get anywhere near 999 charisma, let alone in excess of 2000, so it's going to be impossible for me to card battle those tamers, so it's going to be impossible for me to obtain all 15 legendary cards, but I can obtain 10 of the legendary cards by finishing with the Jewel Island, getting the trophy, and then it's all about exploring specific circuit boards, but I will need to pause in between now and then because I don't know which circuit boards it is that I need to explore. So I'm going to need to go on the internet, do some studying and find out which circuit boards it is. Since we're presumably speaking of 10 different circuit boards, I'm probably going to need to take some notes, write a few things down. I'm probably not going to you know, write it all down word for word, which circuit board and then all the directions and everything, but certainly I should note each and every circuit board, you know, the location of it. Um, if there's a certain order it has to be done in, like you have to do this black argumon, then that black argumon, blah, 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 then obviously that will be noted as well. Uh, once I have um, the information needed, I can then carry on recording and you can witness me um, try and take them on. Okay, so are things now going to get tougher? Oh, so is that four deceive cloaks? Although I'm not sure I want to use all of them because I may want to save some of them for the next round. Well, I've got a um, control parts. So I've got two Digimon cards. He doesn't have a freeze bug, so if I just grab a vicious hacking, I can take a look at his hand and work out um, what I need to do in order to win. Well, certainly I don't want him using Blazing Chaos now, do I? He's got... how much AP has he got? 28, 56... Um, 61, 65, 95, um, 55, 92, plus more. Okay, I think I can win.
Now, well, whatever happens, he's going to use his fire cannon, isn't he? So, let's just do this. Okay. Mm, being against a red master, I suppose there is always going to be the risk of blazing chaos. Um, should I end up losing this, then on a rematch, I would probably have to use either a black folder or a white folder. But I'm winning 1-0 and I've got some decent cards, so let's hope it doesn't come down to that. Um, so there's no um, blazing chaos, though this is a nuisance, so that can go. Uh, my freeze bug can combat his fire cannon. So let's just take out the most threatening Digimon card. Okay, well I've got two Digimon cards in the control parts. His fire cannon won't be used because I've got a freeze bug. Although, come to think of it, I think I would survive anyway. But what the hell, let's just use a freeze bug on it. I'm just going to say that I am getting relatively close to half an hour, but I would like to try and do all this in this part. So I'm just going to carry on for now and just see how I do. And I'm against a blue folder, which might mean that finally there's some freeze bugs that they have. Although. I say that as if it's a good thing, but no, it's not a good thing if they have freeze bugs. Well, apparently no freeze bugs. But control parts, that can go. And judging by the rest of his hand, I'm probably not really at risk of anything. <laughs> yeah, system. Obviously, I don't know how long this is going to take, and it's going to take longer if I end up losing. But rather than, um, but it's just the fact that um, I need to do planning makes me want to just win at the Jewel Island and then return to the Forest Inn where I can save and, and sort of end the part and then do the studying that I need to do. And I would just rather just try and get that all done in this part, finish the Jewel Island, then make it back to the Forest Inn. And yeah. It does mean that it's going to drag on, but um, I'm just, I just want to try and get it over and done with, like, even if it does mean dragging on a bit. Okay, so at the moment I'm actually losing. So if I send this back, freeze bug, I don't think so. Okay, so we are now seeing freeze bugs. Does he have another card? Seems not. And I think I've got this. Okay, that was pretty close that time. Yeah, okay, so um, it seems that this part's probably going to stand out for being quite a long part, but, um, yeah. Not really sure what to expect. Mm hmm, one, wait, one black, three green, one blue, probably a freeze bug, and I suppose one brown. Um, vicious hacking, well, 
don't know what he's going to do with that. He may take my Deceive Cloak, he may take my Vicious Hacking. If I try and use my Vicious Hacking, then it's probably going to be stopped with a Freeze Bug. Okay, I'm just going to let him do that. Okay. Um, I'd say he has... He must have a brown card, and his blue card is probably a freeze bug. Um, okay, I'm gonna play things a little different. I'm gonna have a freeze bug, um, not necessarily to try and stop him using a program card because he's probably just going to use a freeze bug on it but rather to sort of secure these cards so that if he tries to freeze bug one of these then i'll freeze bug his freeze bug well, that's his brown card mm. <laughs> Well, I'm confident he's got a freeze bug, so if I try and stop that, then he's just going to get a freeze bug. He's just going to stop my freeze bug. And another blue, is that going to mean another freeze bug? Oh, I don't want that happening now, do I? Well, I've got nothing to lose. Okay, he does have a freeze bug, no surprise. So that turns things on their head somewhat. But let's just return this to my hand. And I welcome that with open arms. doesn't have a vicious hack in this time. Let's hit him with a vicious hack in early on. I've got a freeze bug, so why not? Uh, let's do away with his charge terminal. His green energy thing is no threat at all. Got charge terminals to to do away with any Digimon cards, it might be a bit too threatening. I've got the control parts as well, I've got another Digimon card, I reckon I've got this. He's in the driving seat at the moment, not to worry, control parts. And that's turned to the table, and that will be that. So there's the trophy for winning at the Jewel Island. Um, much like the Jewel Island in the other server, you can give them all another round where they have more powerful cards. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be happy that I've got both both trophies for both Jewel Islands. So I'm going to head back to the Forest Inn where I'm going to rest. I'm going to save. I'm going to end the part. And then in between this part and the next part, I'm going to study the circuit boards to find out where the Black Argumons and the Numamons are. And yeah, in the next part you will see me explore the circuit boards in hunt of those Digimon where I will be looking to card battle them and obtain the legendary cards that um, they give us if we beat them. Yeah, this part's probably going to be about 40 minutes, so it's probably going to be about 10 minutes longer than sort of the average part, but um, I'm sure you're not going to bite my head off for that.
But yeah, I'll probably have more to say in the next part in regards to everything, because I'm going to be doing a bit more studying, learn a few more things, so I may have a bit more to say. But um, until then, I've made it clear that I'm only going to be able to get 10 of the 15 legendary cards, the 10 from the Black Argumons and the Numamons. I'm not going to be able to card battle those five tamers who I Digimon battled um, a few parts ago, and I've already explained reasons for that. So yeah, priority is the circuit boards and the card battles. So what's changed between the last time I saved and this time I saved? Well, I've gained a level with Copemon and I've gained some card boosters, but most importantly, I've gained the Jewel Island trophy. So I will be ending once I save. So um, I thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next part.